Amen. All these ones you are trying to walk like a woman, it can never turn you to a female. You are a male. And inside your heart of your heart, you know you are a male. You know you are deceiving yourself. Hallelujah. And this one, you are trying to behave like a man too. You are doing masculine. You are saying you are a, they call them, uh, you know, I don't know, there's a name. Eh? Tomboy. You are saying you are a tomboy. There is no, it's not you are a boy, you are, you are not a boy. There is no tomboy. And you acting like a man. Yeah, there are women who are very strong, who look, who are a bit stronger than, than their female counterpart. Just like there are men too who are stronger than their male counterpart. There are people like that. Either because of their background, maybe because they have military background. Some people have, some female have military background. Or because they, all, they have all male uh, siblings. If a girl is one girl between boys, he will be, he will be militant. <laughs> there will be the blood of the militancy inside him, inside her. Because all surrounded by boys. Are you following me? While she's growing up, they stretch her. They make her jump, they make her run, they make her do things she wouldn't do if, if she's in the midst of girls. So, but that does not make her a boy. She's still a girl. Are you following what I'm saying? So there is a need for whoever is going into marriage to have a full understanding because the rate of divorce in our time is so rampant that in some countries now, if you marry, they give you allowance. They're encouraging people to marry. Government... If you marry, government will give you and your wife some thousands of dollars or whatever to say you got married. It's like a way of compensating you for because people are not getting married. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. In some society, marriage has been abandoned gradually in some society. Praise God. That is, not that people get married and divorced who never desire to be married. There are people who grew up and never married, never desired to be married, don't want problem with having children, don't want problem with having a partner. I, I, I know somebody that we are still encouraging to marry, and he's over 60, a man. I know you are shocked. A Nigerian, he's a family friend. We've encouraged him, marry. He's, he's afraid, he doesn't want to marry. And he has been afraid for more than 20 years now. When he was much younger. Praise God. Praise the Lord. He wanted to marry one time when he was very young. He, one day we engaged him. He said he doesn't just like the commitment. He doesn't like anybody calling him and say, when are you coming back home? He said, what kind of thing is that? And he knows once he gets married, somebody is going to ask you, <laughs> when are you coming home? He said he doesn't want it. He wants to go out and stay as long as he wants to stay and come back whenever he wants. And when he tried to date someone, his only girlfriend, that would be asking, where are you? And he said, no, 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 no. This is rubbish. Until now. He doesn't have a child. He used to have a child many, many years ago. The child died. He doesn't have any child now. And he's not intending to get married. And he's comfortable. That's to tell you that this generation is gradually abandoning the institution of marriage. You are saying, ah, because it's Africa. In outside Africa, there are, there are so many people who never married and never wanted to be married, who vow never to be married. That will not be our portion. I'm not saying it's compulsory that everybody must marry. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that our, our, if everybody becomes single, how are we going to have the next generation? So marriage is important. God created marriage. Now, let me also say this. This is very important. The example... Now, uh, marriage is a covenant relationship. Marriage is what? Marriage is, a, marriage is not a casual relationship. So if you're not ready for a covenant relationship, please don't marry. It is better to be happy as a single person than to be miserable as a married person. Amen. It is better. Marriage is a covenant relationship. What is covenant? Covenant is like a coin. I wish we, we don't have coin again in Nigeria. You know coins? Coin. Covenant is like a coin. It has two sides. One side is responsibility side. The other side is the privilege and the right side. Your right, your privilege. Sorry, your, your, your responsibility 
then your right, which is your privilege. So in marriage, you are everybody, both the man and woman, they, we all have individual responsibilities. And we all have privileges and rights for being married. Are you getting me? Marriage is like a, co it's a covenant. Covenant is like a coin. It has two sides. The responsibility side and the right side. It has a legal status. In the, marriage has a legal status in spiritual realm. Marriage is not a casual relationship. Please don't ever go into marriage casually. Don't do like white people. He will just call his parents at the middle of the day. Hello, dad. Hello, mom. He said, oh, we've, not heard, we've not heard of you. We've not seen you in a long time. Maybe he has not even gone home for like two years or more. Where are you? I'm in Florida. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. I just said I should call you. I'm getting married tomorrow. To who? To, 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 to <laughs> I don't want to make, I, I don't want to make music and mention your name. Also. <laughs> so, somebody will not think I'm talking. And she will just mention one random guy. We don't know him. Oh, you don't need to know him. Yeah. And look, whether they like it or not, she's getting married. Though. That tomorrow, she and the guy will go to court. They will sign. They will get married. They start living together. Once in a while, they will call their parents and say, hello, are you guys doing? You are fine. They will be angry. Oh. If, if they believe that's what he chose. But the problem is this. That's why there's no commitment. Because two people just... Marriage is not meant to be like that. Even though marriage is between two people, ladies and gentlemen, there must be involvement of the church. There must be involvement of the family. It has been discovered that there are less divorce in Africa. There are less divorce in... Uh, among the Indians because the Indians and the Africans get married almost the same way. Have you seen Indians wedding before? Serious ceremony. See, the, a whole week they are doing wedding. Two people want to get married. Just like we do in our place. There will be introduction. There will be traditional. There will be you know, all those things. The whole family is involved. You know why? So that before you think you are not doing again, you know that it's not only you that gathered that day. You will think about the uncle you. <laughs> you understand? You think about your aunt. You think about everybody who came from far and near. You know that it's a big investment. So before you change your mind, you think well. Because it's not a casual. A casual relationship is a relationship you just go into by yourself. Marriage can't be sustained like that. Parents must be involved. Family must be involved. Church must be involved. When I say church, it doesn't mean that it has to happen in the church. As a believer, make sure that your church family is carried along. You see, when people get married and they don't tell us, they just get married and we just sit on Facebook, I just smile. It's not my cup of tea. Just don't come and tell me any story. Ah, because me, I'm not that kind of person. I won't force you. I have seen powerful people that we have a relationship with me in this church. I will just see their wedding on Facebook and I will meet I'll just type congratulations, blessings. <laughs> you have to flow with this generation very well. Since that's how you want it. But please, don't call me for anything. One Yoruba son say, oh, me say, Rare. Oh, you, are, you are doing yourself. You want to get married? You did not involve your family? You don't involve your spiritual family too? You just pick a guy or pick a girl somewhere? You just, okay. Where there is no commitment, people commit crime. One man says committee without commitment will commit crime. There has to be commitment. That we are paying dowry is in the Bible too. You have to pay, let somebody, let them pay your dowry. It's important. Because it's no committee. Say, oh, hey, how much is even that dowry in, in our culture? It's just 1,500 naira. Let him pay it. Let him give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. It's in the Bible. If they prostrate in your culture, let him prostrate. 
Hello? If they kneel down, let her kneel down. You see, do it the way it should be done. Don't let anybody take your life because it's your future. It's your life. It's your life. You want to be happy? You are going to build the right foundation to be happy. When I was going to get married to my wife, because I was a pastor, they wanted to waive a lot of things for me. I refused. Because I wanted to be married authentically. I wanted to be authentic. They told me, they said, well, pastor, my father's elder brother, sorry, my father-in-law, elder brother, is still alive in Obomosho. Uh, we don't know. Maybe we can. I said, let's go, let's go there. We drove down there one day. We told the man about our marriage. The man gave us his blessing. He said he's too old to come, but he was, his wife will come around, blah, blah, blah. When it was time, they said, ah, during tradition, we don't want pastor to be prostrating, but pastor wants to marry. Did you get that? But pastor wants to be a husband. But you see, there are lines about, you have to draw lines. I told them I want to prostrate. They say your friends, got, I said they will prostrate. My friends, my friends are like me too. They are pastors, but they to understand that you give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Hallelujah. So we prostrated. Some of you were there now. We prostrated. They said we should remain there. We remain there. <laughs> they told that the camera can catch us very well. They snap us properly. <laughs> we said no problem. Our la we are the one that said we wanted to marry. Are you here? You follow me? Do what you have to do. Do what you should do. What you will not do to what you don't want anybody to do to your daughter. Don't do it to somebody's daughter. I know you don't want anybody to just carry your daughter on the street and marry her without your consent, without your without paying respect to you. Since you don't want it, don't do it. 